Hello, and welcome to this video presentation of Selectable, a game created by Group 330 during the third semester of Meteorology at Oslo University. This is the multi-touch table. Actually, it is a big box containing the various devices that make the multi-touch technology work. This is the screen. It incorporates a diffused material which reflects some of the light. This one is made up of a glass plate and a cloth fabric. Underneath it is a mirror. This is placed in order to reflect the light coming from the projector and the infrared lamps. This is the projector, which projects the image from the computer to the screen of the multi-touch table. This is the camera, which registers any interaction with the screen by using a technique where objects placed on the screen reflect more light than the background. This technique is called diffused illumination. The camera is outfitted with an infrared filter, which blocks out all visual light. This is the infrared lamp. The lamp is outfitted with green filters to remove the red glare. The output from the various devices is sent to this computer. This is then processed by a program called Community Core Vision, abbreviated as CCV. CCV is a program that handles a video feed in thresholds in such a way so that blobs can be detected and coordinates calculated. These are then sent to flash via a Flosk gateway. Here's our input image from the camera with the infrared filter, filtering away anything but the infrared light. The image is flipped here so that if a finger is moved in a left direction on the table, it is also moved accordingly on the source image and the tracked image. Here's a tracked image. The white blobs are objects being tracked, and the ones with an ID around it are the objects that pass the threshold sizes. The center of these are exported as coordinates. First we have our background subtraction that we have to run without objects on. This is done to make the program save an image for comparison with the current one, and then subtracts the differences in it, for example a finger or hand touching the table. These three options are various filters that can remove noise and make blobs appear more clearly. Before we can use our touch table, we have to calibrate it. We do this by entering calibration mode. In calibration mode, you define some exact points on the table by pushing them with a finger. This causes CCV to adjust the output image to fit the input. Lastly, the Send to you OSC is clicked to make CCV send the blob coordinates to flash via our Flosk gateway. Now, let's take a look at the game. This is the game table. As you can see, there are several tiles spread across it. It's the player's objective to select these tiles in order to score points. Each player has a predetermined color, which they choose among themselves, as is with the classic board games. This is the splash screen. It functions as a tutorial which explains the premise of the game. The player must select the red tiles by pressing them with his fingers. The catch is, he must press the tiles with the same symbol as the big grey one in the background. This is where the red player's score is shown. Here his opponent's score is shown, the blue player. Here the remaining time of the round is shown. The player with the most points when the time runs out has won. Now a short segment of the game being played will be shown. Thank you. 